So today is might end up one of those do you remember where you were when kind of days. Oh, because of um, the thing? Yes. Because of the horrible miscarriage of justice? So yeah, the, the, the FBI raided Mar-a-Lago today. Just as I'm going on the air, I'm like... They didn't raid it. They executed a the search, search warrant. warrant. That's true. Those are different Nine. things. That's true. That's true. But it's been amusing as night to see the GOP suddenly be like, Ooh, la, la. police. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, cool. I'm on board. Let's do this. Tell me more about that. You want to defund the FBI? Sounds yeah. great. Let's go. Marjorie Taylor Greene wants to defund the FBI. I'm on board. Great idea. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. You run on that too. <laughs> Make that be your your platform coming up. Yeah. So it's 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 so weird, and the reason we joke about it is because the night is actually kind of scary. We do have other news that has nothing to do with the politics and yet is still incredibly stupid. Like, incredibly stupid. That's kind of our, my oeuvre. <sighs> the first one, oh dear. All right, let's, let's get the intro going, because I want to get into this first one, because I, wow. Each week, Catherine, the Radio Dead Air audience, go out on the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring back here for a little segment we like to call what the fuck is wrong with you? Crazy. And I promised you cows. I'm crazy. Yeah. And I already, I already know what the title for this week is going to be because there's no other title that could possibly be. Um. I, I'm intrigued. I, uh. Like. Th this is not what we mean when we talk about till the cows come home. Family says cows broke into their new house in Montana. Yeah, you're seeing the, you're seeing the pictures there. Oh. Yeah, it's everywhere. Is that mud? It's not. Or... I don't know. I can't say for sure. All I know is whatever it is, it's everywhere. Yeah, mud or manure is not a game anybody wants to play. <laughs> A Washington family was shocked to discover that bovines moved into their new house in Montana. A poster on Reddit's Well, That Sucks shared, uh, section shared pictures of a new home that was taken over by cattle. Several commenters said the house might well need to be gutted and refloored due to the damage. Urged the poster to talk to an insurance they company. Built. Um, in response to people's questions, Poster wrote, houses on my aunt's property. Currently live in Washington. We're planning to move at the end of the year. We assumed she was going down every now and again to check on the house. Guess she wasn't! Categorized a lot of acreage and looked for his cows. Even filed a report for stolen cattle. He looked in our shed, but not in the house because he thought someone was living there. Well, they were. For months. Insurance has been contacted, but I'm not sure about outcome because my stepdad is trying to deal with it directly with Cattle Guy. Try and work something out, and no, we don't have farmers insurance. Uh, it's unclear where the house was located. Yeah, just, Jesus, Mary. I mean, I feel like you just need to seed that house to the cows and build yeah. a new one. Yeah, kill it with fire. Just, just let it. I go. mean, do they not have squatters rights now? <laughs> I've been there for months, dude. It's it's the cow's house now. <laughs> yeah. How do you just you show up at your house that you just built, and I bet you anything, like just as they were getting out of the car, oh, the, the smell. Because <laughs> for as long as they've been there, that's not mud. That's not mud. The cow's just like, yeah, we're going to live here now. We like what this. 
What, well, I guess they were probably going out to eat. I they, guess, yeah, they could get in and out. They like decided this is our house. This is cool. We got a good little setup here. We're, we're gonna stay nice. here. We're gonna share with those other cows. This is how animal farms start. <laughs> Oh. These cows are like bougie house cows now. I, 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 I'm trying to figure out if there was ever carpet in there because if there was, there isn't anymore. No, like when we moved into this house, we had bought it sight unseen. And we drove from New Jersey to Colorado. I think we finally pulled into the driveway here at like 10 o'clock at night. And I can't even imagine. <laughs> What's that smell? If we had walked in at 10 o'clock at night to three cows. We were so tired, we might have just been like, fuck it and gone to sleep anyway. The cows would be like, hey, what's up? What's up? You got any, you got any grass? Like, uh, just, just try and keep it down after three, because Carl over there's got work, okay? Like, our biggest problem was we had to sleep on a terrible air mattress the first night. <sighs> I, I don't <sighs> even know how you react to just cows that are like, hey, what's up? Um, what are we doing? We have got some, surprisingly, this is a California story, which I'm like, wow, really? Um, this also falls in the guns are not in remote control for life. Holy shit is all I can say. Arcadia nurse held without bail for allegedly shooting at neighbor's apartment. Arcadia, California. Arcadia nurse is behind bars being held without bail after allegedly firing several gunshots into the apartments, plural, surrounding hers earlier this week. Catherine Pugh, 39, was arrested Monday for illegally discharging a firearm. Investigators say there was an ongoing dispute between the neighbors in the apartment below pews. We found an intoxicated female in possession of two guns. We discovered she shot two rounds through a downstairs apartment unit. We found a bottle of tequila inside her house, and she was exhibiting signs and some being drunk. The neighbor below pew, uh, Pin, uh, Sin Lin, uh, reported the shots after two bullets came through her ceiling, narrowly missing her. Uh, Lynn's been teaching piano from her apartment for nearly three years, but says when Pugh, uh, when Pugh moved in last year, Pugh started complaining about the noise. It all came down to a point on Monday when Lynn was getting ready for her next lesson. Lynn initially heard a loud bang around noon while she was fixing lunch in her kitchen. She assumed Pugh had slammed a door. Which, you know, if you're, you're like, okay, because why would you think anything else? Right. About Why did you think she's shooting for her own floor? About an hour later, she heard two more loud bangs, which she wrote off as more angry noise. But after the fourth shot came through her ceiling and struck a lamp on her piano, she realized the sounds were all gunshots. Later checked her kitchen and found another bullet hole in a cabinet. The bullet had been stopped by a rice cooker on a shelf. Two more, two more shots from Pew's apartment left holes in Pew's windows uh, and wall. They say those rounds stuck to other inhabited apartments, causing no injuries. Lucky as fuck. Can you imagine just realizing that it has been raining bullets on you for an hour? Like, yeah, I mean, it's and just dumb fucking luck. You weren't where they landed. Like, just that's slowly dawning on you. The, the horror. You just feel the blood draining from your face. Also, we talk about the fact that she's giving piano lessons. Who is your biggest customer for piano? Like, yes, adults take piano lessons, mm. but mostly kids. Kids take piano lessons. You're, you're, so you're, you could have killed somebody's fucking kid. You're drunk and shooting at children. Right. Good. Good job. Not that this woman dying wouldn't have been bad enough. You oh, could have yeah. killed her. Yeah. You were trying to kill her. Uh, she. <laughs> She a Pew is a registered nurse at Huntington Hospital who won a nursing award in 2019. Well, that's nice, but she's hey. shooting at people. 
And, and that alone tells me that this person is white. <laughs> I look forward to your comments. Only when white people fucking do this shit do we bring up that they were an honor student in the eighth grade. He has no criminal record. And their cousin said they're a heck of a nice person. She has no criminal record yet could be held behind bars for a long stretch, uh, conceivably until she goes to trial. It could take months and she's in serious in a serious case like this, maybe even longer. She's going to lose her job. She's going to lose her apartment. She's going to lose her livelihood. Yes. It's, I'm, I'm not. I, she has no prior. She's a responsible person. No, 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 no. She went, a f- responsible person. Yeah. I mean, responsible people generally do not down tequila and start playing with the handguns. No, that's, that's kind of the, the opposite of responsible. Like, you you know, she is one of the best people ever put on this earth. No, she's not. No, no, she's not. No, no, it's just like the best people on this earth. Don't shoot holes in their floor over piano lessons. She didn't do nothing wrong. She just, she had, a, she's a wonderful lady. Yeah. What about the gun? She has a 4.0 GPA, the gun. You got right. a nursing award. What about the trying to kill somebody? Like hit, you've shot multiple fucking apartments. Fuck. Like I know as a defense attorney, that your job is to try and make your client look good. But fuck you. Yeah. She's the best pe- one of the best people. No, she's not. No, not really. no, she's not. All right. Uh, next one. Oh boy. Why is it? What the fuck? Have, were you here for the Florida storm drains shit? I don't think you were. We've had like a couple stories now of people just getting into the Florida storm drains and doing shit. We don't understand why. Well, guess what? It's happened again. Did a clown have their paper boat? Uh, First responders search for a man believed to be stuck in Pinellas Park storm drain. Dozens of first responders spent most of Monday morning searching for a man. They thought it got stuck in a Pinellas Park manhole. Started when city workers opened a manhole cover to find a man doubted the storm drain. The man asked workers for a drink. They gave him Mountain Dew, but then they lost contact with him. They weren't sure if he was stuck or just walked out the end of the drain. Dilemma. You're trapped in a storm drain and you're thirsty. (laughs) You can either drink the water in the storm drain or a Mountain Dew. Ooh, decisions, decisions. That's a tough one. That's, I mean, I'd probably go with the Mountain Dew, but I wouldn't feel good about it. Crew sent in a drone and even cameras, but they never found the man who remains unidentified. Firefighters do believe the man walked out the other end on his own, but it was a huge disruption in the area. What the fuck were you doing down there? Where did he go? Yeah, where, where the, the fuck? Where did you come from? Where did you go? <laughs> Do you remember the X-Files episode? It's one of the early ones with Fluke Man. Yeah, I, I do. I do. I think it's obvious what happened here. I think he fell victim to the Fluke Man. I don't understand why people keep... This is like been within the space of two months. People just wandering in the fucking Florida storm like drains. The thing that they're doing? It's not a good place to be. No. For a number of reasons. The clown being the least of them, honestly. Yeah. Which is surprising. But not least of which is we've been having torrential rain in the Southeast. Like, like and I, I've lived in Florida. There's a thing that happens in the summer, or the, we call it the rainy season. And that is precisely about somewhere between 1 and 2 p.m. Fucking torrential downpour for 15 minutes every fucking day. You could set your fucking watch to it. We had it here yesterday. 
Several parts of Denver fucking flooded yesterday. It's the end of the goddamn world. Several roads in Denver completely flooded out yesterday. Yeah, more like the end of a civilization, but I take your point. You know, it's, it's, it's the end of the human fucking world. Because yeah. that, I, I don't, like, Denver is really fucking dry climate, you guys. Like, I have hand cream and lip balm in every room of my house because it's necessary. You don't want to be in the middle of a fucking storm drain when all of a sudden all of the water appears. And I love, I love how this dude's like, the dude's like, hey, can I get a drink, man? Don't snap at me. That's rude. Go sit on your keyboard. Like, come here. Good boy. It wor- decoy keyboard man it works just the mountain dew you get a drink man thanks and then just wandering the fuck off and meanwhile there's like a 40 man thing we got a yeah, guy down there down the city you suspicious can, I, I can it. imagine this guy gets gets a drink walks out of the storm drain comes back around he's like i wonder what all that's about like looking down the manhole cover what's what's going on what's going on what's, what's this all about there's a guy stuck down there oh that's terrible you should have <laughs> told me i was just down there maybe i saw him <sighs> okay more florida and this is probably the weirdest dui i have ever fucking seen that's a bold claim it, it's weird because it's just, it's kind of like one of those technical DUIs, but it counts. Imagine. All right. So it's years later, you're going for a job interview. You have to talk to them. They'd say, have you ever been arrested for, for crime? Yes. All right. What was the crime for? DUI. Explain the circumstances. I was in the Walmart. So, so you were at the Walmart? No, I, I was in the Walmart. Oh, oh. Florida man is behind bars on DUI charges for allegedly drunk driving a motorized scooter inside Walmart where he nearly struck shoppers and crashed into shelves and merchandise displays. So already he is, everyone hates him. Yeah. An entire store of retail workers. They, they have, you have, it, Gained their rage. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you want to, if you want to be murdered in your sleep by retail workers, go into the store and start knocking shit over. They, they'll never find the body. Aaron Gregory, 39, was busted. He composed in the damages bin. <clears throat> Do I speak from experience? Maybe. You don't know. I admit nothing. Aaron Gregory, 39, was busted around 10 a.m. Sunday inside a Walmart in Melbourne. It's about 65 Mm -hmm. miles. What? 10 a.m., yes. 10 a.m. Sunday. He's he's, he's getting it all. He's, you know how we we used to, when we used to go out to clubs and shit, and the drugs, drinks were so fucking expensive. So we'd get, we'd start drinking before we went out, and then we'd go to the, so he's like, well, He's he's drinking ahead of communion is what I think he's doing here. <laughs> but it's free there. Do what? Still, yeah, but you know. They don't charge you for the blood of Christ. Well, you say that now. <laughs> Officers were summoned to the store in reference to an intoxicated male on a motorized scooter. Walmart security official told cops that Gregory, seen it right, was haphazardly driving a Walmart scooter down the aisles, running into shelves of displays, creating a danger uh, for other patrons and almost striking them. Gregory was reportedly so intoxicated, he was barely able to stand on his own and had to be transported from the store on a stretcher. His backpack, which was in the scooter's plastic, contained an open bottle of Smirnoff vodka. Store security uh, cameras recognize Gregory swerving, running at items, and nodding off while driving the motorized scooter. 
It's char- uh, the Walmart scooter, which tops out at 10 miles per hour, is considered a motor vehicle according to Florida's criminal statutes. Okay, the Walmart ones are faster than the Target ones then? Because I was going to say, when, when the chemo got bad, Dan would use the scooter occasionally. He didn't love it, but he would because walking around was tiring. Yeah. And they don't go fast. Like, he could have hit many displays in this thing and not even shook them. So maybe Target's a little more responsible with their scooters. So, so now, so now you got a DUI on your record yeah. for crashing into the corn pops with a Walmart scooter. Good, good job. Good, good job. It's a nice one, Greg. You've, you've done a the fuck. Like you have to go in front of a judge. In a courtroom full of people, because they do DUI court, like, you don't get your own courtroom no. for that. No. Like, you're in with everybody else yep, who they... has tickets and shit. So you're going to be in front of a room full of people when they read that shit out. Yep. But that is, of course, we have more motor vehicle related shenanigans. And they're not Florida. They're not all Florida. No, not Florida. That was the one Florida one. We have more. This is uh, Salt Lake City. I I don't understand what the fuck happened here. All I know is someone's going to jail. That's it. I I don't know why. Man allegedly uses stolen excavator to rip up Salt Lake City store parking lot. Arrested after police said he stole an excavator drove nearly a mile down the street and started ripping up the ground at a grocery store parking lot. He heard there was a guy in the storm drain. He was trying to help. According to a news release, the excavator was left running at a job when the man got inside and drove away. That did go unnoticed. According to the Salt Lake City PD, a construction site saw the suspect take the excavator and followed him to a Smith's grocery store where he began randomly digging up the ground. It wasn't immediately clear if authorities were contacted when the equipment was initially, was initially stolen, but a police statement indicates the incident wasn't reported until after the suspect began destroying property. The suspect caused significant damage to the ground, including hitting a water line and ripping out newly installed fiber optic utility lines. Crews from Salt Lake City Public Utilities, Salt Lake City Street, Salt Lake City Fire, and Dominion Energy responded to assess the damage and ensure there was no gas leak. Crews said a large crowd at the store helped keep the suspect from leaving until he was arrested. Identified the suspect as Omar Ortega, 46. No one was hurt. No crashes were reported. The amount of damage is still under investigation. It's unclear why he stole the equipment or why he chose that location to dig. So nobody like asked him. Like, did a leprechaun tell you there was treasure? <clears throat> Were pirates perhaps, involved? Perhaps a pair of golden magic glasses. Like it. Maybe he found a fake treasure. Yeah, it's right. It's right, RJ Hammer. Maybe that's the, that's the journalistic malfeasance that really bothers me when we do these. They don't get the critical information of how the fuck did this happen? <laughs> how did we get here? The article says, I am a schmuck and I'm digging a hole. Diggy, diggy hole. Diggy, diggy hole. I. <laughs> Like, what the fuck are you... He's going to save us from 5G. Oh. No, I will tell you that that ripping out the fiber optics, that happened here on accident. Um, and it was, a, it was a state away. It was in North Carolina. And they were clearing... I think a storm happened. They were clearing up debris. And the chainsaw went right through the fiber optics. We lost internet. Florida lost internet. Georgia lost internet. Because you went, they went through this bundle that hit everybody's. It was Comcast. Uh, I think Cox My got hit. Landscapers did that to her twice. Your what? My sister's landscapers did that to her twice. They cut her Wi-Fi line twice. 
okay, well, imagine cutting the Wi-Fi line for oh, a like million people. people. Yeah. Yeah. That's worse. Like, so now you you have managed to piss off the entire town. You you shut off the porn, dude. Everybody in town is so angry, and they can't even post to next door. <laughs> Of all the things you're gonna do, why you getting arrested for this? That's all. That's the only thing I know that, that happened. There, there was. We started off with digging a hole. We ended with arrested. We don't have a why. We don't have anything. No. This just happened. And that's long for in so many of these stories i long for the follow-up with the why we, we have one last one this week and uh th this is a bit of a sacrilege to me because we don't have these here and we need to have them here we don't and I'm, I'm upset about this and this guy is just taking what he has for granted um Houston man crashes stolen ambulance into Whataburger drive through Man allegedly went on a short joyride in a Houston fire department ambulance before driving the wrong way through a Whataburger drive through And I want to stress, no, there were the, the, the there were no injuries, not even light injuries. Somehow, with all that I'm about to describe, no one got hurt. Houston man stole an ambulance and went for a short joyride before crashing into cars waiting in line at a Whataburger drive through Jose Vega, 26, took a Houston Fire Department ambulance from a hospital near the 2400 block of Richmond Avenue. Uh, Vega then allegedly drove the ambulance to another fast food restaurant near the Whatab Whataburger where he crashed into three other cars in the restaurant's parking lot. After leaving the first restaurant, Vega started driving on Westheimer Road, where police said he hit another car while traveling. He kept driving, however, until he pulled into the Whataburger parking lot, where he allegedly went the wrong way on the drive through and smashed into the first car in line to pick up food at the window. Impact from the collision with the stolen ambulance drove the first car backward into the car behind it in the drive through line. It's momentum plus. Stationary. Uh, that momentum's got to go somewhere. No one was injured in the incident. Like, that is, that is like, wow. Holy shit. <laughs> what a douchebag. Like, yes. Are yes. you that hungry? <laughs> I'm going to go to this restaurant. No, I'm not going to go to this restaurant. Do Get out of my way! <laughs> you're not you when you're hungry. I, I, okay, and steal it. All right, first of all, we've stressed this many times. This keeps fucking happening. It's, this is not like, like a, a, a catch a ride, all right? It's a fucking ambulance. Yeah. This isn't like, you know, those bikes they leave lying around the city. Like anybody can yeah, ride them. Scooters. What? In Denver, it's scooters. Yeah, those are terrible. But no, seriously. It's a thing. It's a thing, but it's, it's also terrible and it's a mess. But no, you, you, you can't just like pick it up and start riding. It's an ambulance. They need yeah. that. Pretty important. For death. People are dying. The ambulance makes that not happen. They need the ambulance. And at just at the Whataburger, man, we desperately need a Whataburger. We got a five guys, but we need a Whataburger. No, oh, Whataburger. I mean, I can extrapolate from the name, but I don't know what's supposed to be special about it. I am partial to five guys. It's just, it's just a good burger. I'd like, I would like to have an alternative. I would like the good options. Good Lord, cat. Like our options here is the McDonald's, the Burger King and the Wendy's and the Wendy's is sort of okay, but 
It's like five. They put in two In and Out burgers in the Denver area last summer, and there are still lines around the block. And yet they're so mediocre. That's the thing about the In and Out. It's so. Me- I've never had it, but I'm like, I fucking love a burger. Right. I, just saying that right now, Californians are typing angrily in the <laughs> comment section. I can't imagine what you are putting in those burgers outside of actual heroin. That would make me sit in that line for two fucking hours. Yeah, I, they're 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 just kind of. I mean, everybody I've I've talked to about it is like, yeah, they're okay. That's pretty much it. They're, they're okay. People have lost their fucking minds from In and Out in Colorado. Like one. they have blocked off. They've had to block off side streets around both of them. It's ridiculous. Here you are. Ruining the fucking Whataburger with a stolen. I'm so mad. Yeah. So mad. I is I is this I'm is more mad about the ambulance. Well, okay, yes. I'm amazed no one was hurt. That that is a miracle. Yeah. Damn near. With how probably m- except for the drive-through people, like we're all trained to get the fuck out of the way of an ambulance. <laughs> And that probably helped because you see an ambulance going unreasonably fast. And what do you do? You pull over. Yeah. But can you imagine? It's like, I'm getting over. He's still coming. What? 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 No, no. I mean, the people stuck in the drive through your cattle in a corral. You know, <laughs> but this is one of those days where the insurance guy just goes, nope. Mm-mm. Nope. What happened? Nope. Yep. Stop stealing fucking ambulances for Christ's sake. Steal cop cars. You still get the siren. But it doesn't, you know, you're not stopping any from getting anybody from getting fucking emergency insulin or their legs set. I mean, yeah. Fuck a cop car. (laughs) Not an excavator either, by the way. We learned this week. What do we learn this week? We've learned that uh, somehow you can go on a crash fucking bumper cars joyride with an ambulance and nobody gets hurt. We don't know how, but it's possible. I mean, put put that in like the Guinness or some shit. It it fucking happens. Uh, we've learned that you know. If your crime is inexplicable to everyone, maybe pick a different crime. At least move to Gotham City. Yeah, that's true. And start wearing a funny outfit. (laughs) The excavator's back, Alfred. Gotta uncover the the, the secret. Gotta learn what it's all about. And you've already got the name. You are the excavator. We've learned it's possible to get a DUI driving a fucking scooter in the Walmart. That, that's embarrassing. Like, we've had some things I would be embarrassed to have to say I got arrested for, but God damn. Drunk driving a scooter in the Walmart. Yeah. Have you noticed that? That's the thing that I, I don't. There are two type of people. There are I'm going to Walmart. And I'm going to the Walmart. Okay. You, you've never noticed that? No, but I don't go to Walmart. Walmart stresses me out. <laughs> Well, of course it does. There's people drunk driving in there. Exactly. But also it's just, it's kind of Walmart's an ADHD nightmare, man. Like the thing, Target is all separated into little compartmentalized shops, Mm. you know? So you're not overwhelmed. Walmart is like the fucking warehouse at the end of Raiders of the Lost Ark. (laughs) And it's very stressful. And you the know ceilings why? are like there's yeah, there's no ceiling. 
It's, it's no, the it's, ceilings are in the fucking stratosphere. There's no drop ceiling. It's just, it's bare. It's, it's like a warehouse. Cavernous space yeah. full of stuff. We've learned, I can't do it. We've learned that wandering around the storm drain will get you a Mountain Dew. <laughs> I guess. If you really need one that bad. If that's the sort of thing you're into, being covered in contaminated water and drinking Mountain Dew. It's, I'm sure there are easier ways to die. We've learned just because you're a swell person does not mean getting drunk and firing bullets into the neighboring apartments is going to be, you know, well, we'll just let that slide. Things happen. You know? You know, I just, I had a bad day. That. Those kids must really fucking suck at piano. <laughs> like, how bad do you have to be at chopsticks <laughs> to get somebody on a fucking tequila gun rampage? It, you're flat. You're fucking flat. <laughs> you're fucking a little shit. You're flat. Yeah. Finally, we've learned that. Um, Cows will steal your house. It's like a fucking far side cartoon. <laughs> As I'm pretty sure Gary Larson like read this and was like, do I have to sue somebody? Just threw the pencil over his shoulder like I, I'm fucking retired. 